So we're just headed out today. This was on yesterday's plan, but the weather had something else to say about it. Um, I literally could not even see in front of my face the, the amount of fog. One, it wouldn't have been safe, but secondly, you wouldn't have seen anything. So either way, both horses had a duvet day. So we've got Molly out on Pixie. Um, Pixie is very strongly becoming Molly's fave. And we've got Kyle on the absolutely divine Zion. Oh, he's so dreamy. He just is so dreamy. So um, if this is the first video you're watching, please pop back on and have a look at Zion's first video with us, which was on Tuesday. Um, and that was his first day with her. So there's lots of info on there. I don't want to have to re keep going over and repeating because those who has watched that, it, it's you don't want to hear me saying it all again. Um, so please pop on and have a look. But um, Zion is a Spanish horse. He's a Spanish prefusion. Absolutely beautiful. Born in Spain. Um, he's about 16 hands. Remember, Kyle is six foot one six foot two a tall rider um and pixie this video is pretty much about zion but we will obviously add some in about pixie she is our beautiful skewball mare um again there's already info out there on her um but she is getting on for 15 one um and she is seven years old um kyle as I say, is on the lovely Spanish boy. He's um, very briefly, he's been used as an all-rounder. He's not been used for any particular Spanish talents or tricks or traits or anything like that. He has been used as an all-round horse. Um, he's very flashy, which obviously comes with the territory being um, Spanish. He's just naturally flashy, but more, more than anything, he's so kind. His nature is so, so good. Um, some of them you just get a soft spot for immediately, um, you know, more than sort of just liking them, you know, he's the one that kind of gets to me straight away, like I really like him, um, yeah, he's lovely, he's unusual as well, we don't very often have a Spanish horse in, but today they are heading down to the quarry, hopefully we can get in sometimes we head down there guys and can't get in um so yeah it is what it is but that's the intention um i'm not going to follow them all the way because i've got to nip off and do something and it is a, a long trek down to the quarry um i'm not going to say it's an hour but it's a long trek and me just sitting behind them uh, the whole way um yeah just got some other things to do just notice that we've got kyle and zion out hacking up in front pixie's great hacking out she'll hack out in front she's just fairly relaxed and just goes with whatever to be honest zion would have that little bit more um walk on him you know that just actively puts him in front but this is really the spooky part you'd see him just have a little look because you've had the shetlands sort of in this gateway here um that are always hiding around there so they have a little loop but this is very much the let me see if i can see him oh yeah we go uh, he's there always uh, horses always have a look at him can't quite work out if he's a horse or not <laughs> um but this is very much the spooky part you know um i won't video to the left but there's a lot going on to the left obviously you've got um the the dry, the wall here and just things that horses spook at really um you know not the big lorries and stuff we all know what horses are like um and you know you tend to find more on our horses obviously this is the beginning of the hack remember the new horses they're always new horses <coughs> they're still in settling in period and they're setting out on a hack so you know the best of horses will have a level of anxiety every horse in a new yard new experiences, new riders, new routine, etc., etc. So it always makes horses a little bit more on the alert side. Right, sorry about that, guys. My phone got cut off. 
um, yeah, we should say when they were hack when they're hacking past, no issues, no nothing like that. It's just tick, tick, tick for me. It really is. I mean, even on the left here, you can see like the black um, wrapped plastic and stuff like that. So we love a confident hacking horse, you know, we do. To me, that is the fundamental part of everything. We all, it doesn't matter what we do with the horses, we always enjoy going on a hack. Well, the mo most of us do. So I wanna be able to pull the horses out, get on and go. And as I say, Tuesday he come, the video's there. They've been stable since then. Pixie's only actually had two rides probably in the last six days and they're stabled at the minute. So, you know, you're getting horses that are not out burning out any energy. They are coming out ha as inverted commas, fresh horses. And you can see how sensible they are. So I'm gonna let them get going. Oh, look how flashy he is. And I'm gonna catch them up shortly because I'm going left. I mean, just look at him. Like, he's just wow. I know we've all got a type, but he's just my type. And Pixie, bless her. Okay, so just catching them up now. You can see them, both riders, body language, clearly just having a little chat away. Not really having to concentrate on what they're doing. And that is a big telltale sign when you are watching these videos. I do often point this out, everybody, that you know as much as you're watching the horses i suggest you watch the riders as well because watching the riders will tell you an awful lot about what the horses are feeling like which obviously you, you don't know that because you're not set on them but ag again watching the riders body language is a real big indication of that these are uh just normal people riding horses not actors not anything they what you see is what you get this is why i do these very much sort of natural videos that you can just observe yourself of what you would be doing if you were riding um out hacking and the horses not sure what they're pointing at maybe hang on do you want to have a look maybe these how cute I don't know i don't know if that's what they're talking about or what but anyway um just bear in mind that molly is um you know she's doing a great job but molly is not a professional rider she's she's doing great with her riding with us really is but you know molly's sort of uh, level of experience and level of where she's at would be quite um a good indication of these horses of what type of riders perhaps you guys are looking for the horses that molly molly is riding so oh guys i'm sorry about that you can see that we're only just down the lane i've got um just yeah i've got full storage on my phone and I, i've said this for the last few videos it just keeps cutting off i keep trying to clear some storage I really need a minute to phone technical support because I have iCloud. I don't know why it's not transferring automatically to iCloud. I don't know. If anybody does know anything like that, and I have got enough iCloud, by the way, guys, um, I don't know. It's probably something really simple. So, yeah, if it does cut off, I'm sorry about that. I did clear four gigabytes. So, is it gigabytes or megabytes? I don't know. I don't know. But I thought I had enough space anyway. Um, so as I was saying, Zion is, he is just that horse with that bit of extra wow factor, but he's very much doing everything. Um, you know, he, as I said, he's very much sort of been that all round horse. The lady that, or family that have had him, the younger girl, she has, they don't have any facilities. So similar to ourselves really. So it is very much if you sort of grab your horse, tack up and go, or if you want to go and do anything, you've got to load up and go somewhere. Um, or, you know, they have the riding in the field throughout the summer. So he's just lived that very nice family life, a very, very much loved horse, a real sad sale just due to education commitments and the educational commitments now will probably be for the next three years um, and when you are based 
um, somewhere with, with no facilities, then you know you do need the daylight um, to be able to do what you've got to do on your horse. And it's not fair to leave him sitting there waiting for the next three years, you know, and who knows, you know, we all know careers go in different um, paths, so you, you don't know where that's going. So a very sad sale. Okay, I'm going to pull over and let them get going a little bit because we're going to get stuck down the single track lane if not and I will catch up with them shortly. Okay, Pixie by the way guys is just, is, she's just a darling. Um, the first couple of days she was a little bit shy in the stable but only sort of when you sort of went in there, once she'd sort of approached her and were doing everything with her, like not so much but she's really settled she's just a lovely horse she is um she's very sweet natured very honest molly loves her to bits and um i've got loads of video of pixie actually that i've not even posted just sort of bits of video around the yard and things um she's just so easy we can sort of pick her up and drop her as we want um she's very cooperative i'm gonna say now molly looks like she's got a space boot on on the left leg her zip has just gone on her boots and the only tape we had was kyle's boxing glove tape in the back of his car and it's metallic silver so she's got a metallic silver leg on the left that'll probably be making an appearance a few times before uh, molly decides to buy herself a new pair of boots so yeah we've got a metallic leg um that's probably gives you a bit idea of more the size of the horses um it's quite difficult when you're on the road because it slopes away but um zion is a really a, a nice size and he's got that real lovely spanish front to him i appreciate you seeing a lot of his backside <laughs> rather than his front side but he, he is beautiful um uh, there's no lumps or bumps or anything over him certainly not what i found guys um everything um is i'm just trying to think what kyle was looking at before then he i don't know if you picked that up guys it gives me a filthy look i don't know if he was just looking behind or what but yeah no lumps or bumps that i found at all on either um no history of anything um as i say lovely nature these are coming out fresh from the stable um both of them are good to mount both riding in a snaffle both horses are enjoyable because both riders are more than happy i'm quite happy to come out riding i don't get any moaning so the next few videos you're going to see is of us in the quarry and it is quite wet at the minute guys it's been quite wet so probably going to be quick, pretty slippy through the mud uh, through the woods sometimes we we manage to jump a little log in there they're just trotting on because i've got a lot of van behind me that's what i think oh that's what kyle was looking at i'll take it back he wasn't giving me a dirty look he was looking at the the van i'm just making a way into the quarry as always i'm not sneaking so you've got pixie now leading the way And as I was just saying, it's quite slippy through this wood. Um, possibly won't be jumping a log today. I will assess it, but I'm definitely not going to have no Bambi moments. Um, there is actually photos of both of these two jumping out cross country. I might have even have videos I think I've got videos of Pixie doing that. Um, I've certainly got photos of them both, that's a definite. And I've got videos of um, Zion out jump, doing stuff, jumping or whatever in the open spaces. But as I say, especially with all the leaves on the floor, I will assess because it did do nothing but rain. If it's not slippy, we'll do it. If it is, we won't. But it's good to see the contrast now from on-road to off-road. This is where it gets difficult for me because I have to, oh, it is really slippy underfoot actually. I can feel it as I'm walking. We have to 
cover quite a bit of ground. Them on horses, me on foot. So this will be the end of my talking. Put some nice music on over there. Um, clips, but that's a quite deep water. They've just gone straight through. No bother. Pixie, little, oh, she's a gem. She goes in front or behind, whatever. Then guys you saw them just having a bit of fun in the quarry um both of them had a go at, at leading through the water not a problem to either it was actually really deep as well <laughs> the second water was i didn't pick before oh this is getting a bit deep but yeah both horses very good it's way too slippy under here to be able to um jump guys because i'm struggling to keep my on my feet here and for the sake of a little log we're not going to do that so um that might be a winter thing actually it might just uh, be a summer a summer activity but we'll see it did rain a lot yesterday so um you've seen them both have a go at being in front in canter as well and obviously both of them have led the way i'll oh, keep still because you can't even see them and let them hack away Just look how sensible they're leaving as well, guys. They're not hit up. They're not excited. They're, they're waiting sensibly to go out. They're not jogging. They're not strong. They're not fizzy. They're just very calm and collected. Off they go. So here they are now, hacking home, as I was just saying, leaving the quarry, super sensible, not hot, not excitable, not fizzy, nothing. And this is really two happy horses, isn't it? I sort of think the video says it all. You've listened to me rabbit on quite a lot, but you know, I do think the video does the most talking. Um, I appreciate they're not all polished up and professional um, videos as such, but to me, they are real life. And I just think that is so much more. Personally, I think that is 
uh, more effective and more helpful for you guys to find the right horse and obviously ultimately for these horses to find the right home. So we are a bit short of time um, at the moment. I think I'll be saying that for the next six months, trying to fit everything in that we have to get done. Um, we have the horses, but we have a lot of other things going on outside of horses. So um, we seem to sort of be always um, fighting the clock. So these guys will probably have a bit of a trot home now. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully that that was helpful to you and here we go i will just let you just meet the horses there we go there they are the lovely zion and pixie having a look out there and molly's space boot thanks guys